What ruins a movie instantly? Characters acting out of character, being morons just to make the plot work. Immediately makes me see them as puppets for storytelling rather than people and I stop caring about them. That all the major issues could be solved by a simple conversation but instead in quat. No, I don't have time to explain in quat. Leading to force conflict from misunderstanding. In superhero movies when the balance of someone's abilities constantly changes. Especially in fight scenes when a character could end the fight in two seconds but that doesn't allow for an epic battle scene so instead that character just randomly decided to avoid using their most valuable abilities. This completely takes me out of the moment. Forced romance. Sometimes movies don't need it and that's okay. When they give out the whole plot in a trailer. A forced romance between two characters which doesn't add anything to the overall plot. Annoying as shit. Whispered dialogue. Ear-shattering action sequences. When serious injuries, gunshots, stabbing, hit by car. Only affects the protagonists for a second then they're right back into action like nothing happened but if you sneeze on a henchman he's dead instantly. Edit. The comments most mentioned offenders Black Widow Starship Troopers. Yes it's satire I get it. The public has mentioned it continuously that's why it's here. Netflix The Punisher John Wick 3 Game of Thrones Arya Stabbing Prometheus C-Section. Breaking the rules they set. Characters that are brought back alive just to keep the show moving. Somehow, Palpatine returned. Shitty fight scenes where I can barely tell what I'm looking at. Scene. And quat. Just let me explain. And quat. And quat. No. And quat. Storms out reality. And quat. Just let me explain. And quat. And quat. Okay. So why did you text your ex? And quat. And quat. It's a birthday surprise. He owns an engraving company now. I got you something I needed engraved. And quat. And quat. Oh. Cool. And quat. Edit. I have turned movies off that have totally hinged on this plot. I understand you can be already angry and not wanting to listen to what they have to say but actual stable adults in trusting relationships do not do this. Find another plot device writers this one is dead. Edit 2. For those saying in quat. Pick another engraving company then. And quat. Maybe she knew his talents and chose him specifically because she knew he was really good at his hobby now career. Besides people can split amicably. When it's so dark you actually can't see what is happening. Also characters that's mumble their lines. Drives me nuts. When there's a scene that's just advertising a brand. When people figure out someone's password in literally no time. When they look at various things around the desk and that clues them into the password. That's why my password is picture frame. Showing and then telling anyway, treating the audience like idiots. Poorly fleshed out character motivation and intelligence. Like, an astrobiologist illogically taking off their protective gear on an alien planet. A real astrobiologist wouldn't do the one thing you're absolutely not supposed to do. And now they're infected. And it was just a lazy way for the screenwriter to get from point A to point B. Poor communication between characters. When setting up or resolving conflict depends on characters illogically choosing to withhold information from each other, because in quat, there's no time in quat, or in quat, I'll explain when we get there, in quat, more lazy writing. The older I get, the more it takes me right out of the story when lazy writing shows through. Heavy makeup and perfect hair. How am I supposed to enjoy a post-apocalyptic movie when the lead actress looks like a beauty pageant contestant? drives me insane. When the characters have the inquat, misunderstanding and break apart inquat, trope. Then the inquat, come back together to resolve conflict inquat. I'm so sick of it, especially when the misunderstanding could easily be avoided in the moment if they just saw the simple solution staring at them in the face. 